Please give a warm round of applause to the President of the European Parliament, Roberta Metzola. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Welcome. Gally. Are we doing this? Wonderful. Is it which one? <laughs> Don't want to mess up your makeup. Oh, no. Oh, wonderful. You know, I didn't come empty-handed. Oh, are you Greek? Uh, <laughs> something like that. Uh, no, I'm Maltese, don't you know? So I was just Malteseing you. <laughs> I, don't, Sorry, I didn't that? appreciate that. Well, okay, okay, uh, understood. No more Maltese puns. <clears throat> I saw you actually had Maltesers backstage. It's a little bit offensive. Uh, I thought you uh, might... Okay. Yes, well, so as everybody in Europe knows, I voluntarily declared my uh, gifts. Voluntarily. No one asked me to. Ah. And now I am giving them away. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know if we have a gift policy. This hasn't happened to us on the Schumann Show before. But can don't I worry it? about it. So, uh, as you know, we all face our political struggles. Really? And this is, this is mine. Oh, okay. Um, enjoy. Uh, Did you want it back or can I keep it? No, you can keep it. They're making me get rid of all of them. Ah, wonderful. Um, yes, a lot like Oprah, you could say. Any journalists in the crowd? <laughs> well, thank you so much, Roberta. That's very, very kind of you. And um, actually, like uh, since we're on the subject of... Uh, of uh, putting things out in the open and being transparent. Uh, how is it going since Qatar Gate? Have you cleaned up house? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Not to change the subject, but you do look a lot like Ava Kylie, don't you? <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. I've only ever impersonated her. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. No, no. Well, you Greeks, you... <laughs> You do try with the corruption, uh, but uh, not quite as good as us. <laughs> when you say us, do you mean us MEPs or us the Maltese people? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I can see you don't want, really want to talk about Qatar Gate, so we, we can move on. I, I wanted to ask you, um, since you're, you're one of very few um, female presidents in the European Parliament, and we have parliamentary elections coming up, are you going to be running for another term? Well, you know, I am very big into the European spirit, and I'm, I do believe a lateral move might be in order. Whoa. Well, when you say lateral move, perhaps president of the commission? Oh, I would have considered that a step up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to offend you. A president of the European Commission, which is also headed by another woman. Um, do you have a female leader group of some kind? Do you, do you talk among yourselves? Do you have a network? We actually, we do. We have a WhatsApp group. Oh, really? You have a, a WhatsApp group with Ursula von der Leyen? Mm -hmm. With all of the female EU leaders. Oh, so Sana Marin as well? And everybody, oh. everybody. Okay, and, mm -hmm. and what exactly do you do on there? We share saucy screenshots. Uh-huh. Uh, Slow cooker recipes, <laughs> pictures of our husbands doing the bare minimum. So you really are superwomen. And you, you have four boys, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes. And you know, uh, my husband and I, we had a deal that uh, whoever of us got elected into office first, they would be the one that could pursue their political career, and the other would look after the children. Unfortunately, society <laughs> makes it difficult to uh, keep a hold of that deal. <laughs> oh, so I, I guess you're a big proponent of women's rights. My position is the position of the European Parliament. <laughs> I see, I see. So I guess you're not going to go back to Malta anytime soon. No, 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 no. But uh, not because of that, no, no. Okay, so it's not because of uh, women's rights. Uh, is it because of the freedom of the press? Uh, it, honestly, it's the English tourists. 
<laughs> oh. Oh, I'm Greek. I understand completely. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what else uh, do you like to do in your spare time, Roberta, when you're, when you're not in the European Parliament? Do you have any fun hobbies? Oh, many, many fun hobbies. Um, Pursuing the European dream. Okay, okay. And do you do you still uh, do you still have uh, have uh, links with your old chief of staff, Kyrkiati? Is he quite busy now running the the European Parliament? Uh, yes, now yes. He's second gen. Yes, the most open and transparent <laughs> procedure that has ever taken place at the European Parliament. Okay, and he was backed uh, by the SND, of course. Uh, how are they enjoying the new unit you created for them? The, as I say, the most open and transparent process in the European Parliament. Anybody could have applied, mm -hmm. as long as I knew them already. <laughs> All right. So how many people applied in the end? Oh, I think at least three. Okay. At least. Well, why don't we, we end a little bit and talk about your home country of Malta? Because, uh, of course, um, there are some things uh, that, that, um, that Malta's famous for um, that are a little bit controversial, like golden passports. What's your stance on that? My position is the position of the European <laughs> Parliament. Okay, let's try LGBT rights. <laughs> no? Abortion? My position is the position of the European Parliament. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, guess, I guess we're not going to get much else out of you. What is your position on Maltese dogs? <laughs> I prefer Yorkshire Terriers. Okay. Uh, Roberta Mazzola, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for the gifts. Uh, and uh, I'll see you backstage for some complimentary Maltesers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Please give it up for Brett Metzola. Thank you.